Are you tired of running out of invention components when perking up your gear? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to level up items quickly to get those components you need ASAP. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Let's get started. Leveling invention items for components when you really want them straight away is always a slog. The method in this video is an active method, but it will get you what you need in a very short time frame which is level 9 items to maximize the amount of components you can get from disassembling them. The method in this video isn't necessarily new, but thanks to a recent patch, this method has been reborn. I say reborn, but this method has definitely been affected by the common XP rebalance that was introduced with necromancy. I am of course talking about farming shattered worlds with the feeling pump mutator active. This mutator gives you unlimited adrenaline at nearly all times when clearing certain world ranges at the cost of your combat experience. You will still, however, be able to gain invention experience with it active. Unlimited adrenaline combined with hard-hitting attacks that have no cooldown is a recipe for trash mob annihilation, and that's exactly what we're aiming to do here. This brings up the most important requirement for this method, in addition to the obvious things such as good gear and a high combat level, and that is an essence of finality amulet. This amulet can store special weapon attacks, and you're going to be storing one of the following two weapons depending on which combat style you want to use. If you're using range, you're going to want to store a dark bow. If using melee, you're going to store a dragon two-handed sword. If you are using the ranged combat style, you'll want to be using a viable item called Mechanized Jin Chompers to have all of your attacks, including that Dark Bow special, function as area of effect damage output. This obviously means you'll need to be using high level ranged offhand weapons such as a Celtic or Ascension Crossbow or a Glaive. I will not get into too much detail with the rest of the gear, but make sure you're using your high level ranged equipment. As for ammunition, I recommend using either Diamond or Onyx Enchanted Procumeral Bolts. The melee setup is fairly straightforward as well. Make sure you're using high level gear with perks that increase damage output such as crackling and biting. As the range of your Dragon Two-Handed Weapon special attack can be extended using weapons like a Masuda's War Spear, Dragon Rider Lance, or Noxious Scythe, it is obviously recommended to be using such a weapon. Since the goal of this method is to level invention items, you should know how to increase your invention experience per hour. Buying and activating a full XP capacitor and placing it in your preset will increase the invention item experience you gain by 100%. Playing during a double XP event with the timer active will increase item experience by 50%. The enlightened perk can increase item experience on the item it's placed on by 3% per rank up to a maximum of 12%, and you can make this perk easily using certain components like this, or if you want to save money by using pious components like this. Combine all of these items and you can gain 212% more item experience per hour, so you're leveling items to level 9 more than 3 times as fast as normal. Some other recommendations to have unlocked for this method is to have the double surge ability, the mobile perk on a piece of armor or a weapon switch, the dive ability, the darkness incantation to avoid damage by dodging it, any damage buffs like the Galakro Cave buff for example, and a power burst of acceleration potion to use to quickly get to the other side of the map after clearing a section on one side. As mentioned previously, we're going to be farming worlds with the Feeling Pump Mutator active. As such, we're going to farm worlds 81 to 96 to guarantee the mutator's effect. If you've never done Shattered Worlds before, you will need to clear the previous worlds at least once to gain access to these worlds as a permanent replayable thing. Now, worlds 81 to 96 aren't the only world with the mutator, however, it is by far the most casual world range for the average player and thus the one I recommend farming. When it comes down to clearing the world using either the Dragon Two Handed Special Attack or the Dark Bow Special Attack with Mechanized Jin Chompers, it is really straightforward. Simply keybind your Essence of Finality ability and spam it at every group of enemies you can see. It's actually a really simple method. If you wish to maximize invention item XP per hour, be sure to try and cluster up enemies by walking back and forth. You clear worlds and shattered worlds by doing different things like finding repair kits to repair the portal, dealing a certain amount of damage or killing 75% of the monsters, or even a world boss. If you end up clearing a world early like with the repair kits one, don't be afraid to continue killing groups of mobs if you have a good world because that's where the invention experience comes from. If you find a chest like this one, be sure to click it as it spawns tons of mobs that you can AoE down nicely. Now when going up worlds in between world ranges, you will have to pick another modifier to deal with. 
These can be positive, neutral, or negative. When given these set of options, always avoid toxic mutators like freezing, explosive, and rockfall. The least destructive mutators are probably hungry, leeching, and static, and honorable isn't actually all too bad when using melee either. I was actually considering Hydra to be a good one for extra experience, but it ended up being more frustrating than anything killing a bunch of mini mobs after the main mobs themselves died. So perhaps avoid this one as well. So what about the rates? Well, when using an XP capacitor and doing this during double XP, I was able to level items to level 9 from 0 in roughly 10 to 60 minutes. This includes failed runs where I died at let's say world 90 due to a stupid mistake and worlds where I ran out of mechanized chinchompas and I kid you not, this happened far more than I'd liked it to. So what I'm sharing here are very realistic rates that the average Joe should be able to replicate. This means you'll be leveling 3 to 6 pieces of equipment to level 9 every hour per equipment slot sacrificed for component gain. So if you're leveling both body and legs, that will be 6 to 12 pieces of equipment per hour. Please note that if you're doing this method without a double XP event active, you'll be gaining a third less items at level 9 per hour. I could have sworn this method was way faster before the combat rework, and it probably was because invention item experience is based on the combat experience you gain from a creature, and that is something that has been nerfed across the board in RuneScape with the release of Necromancy. In addition to the invention item experience gained, you can also gain a bunch of Shattered Anima Power, which you can use for Slayer Masks, amongst other rewards in the Shattered Worlds Reward Shop. Again, I'm including my field runs to make it as realistic as possible. You can expect an average of 73 to 90 million anima per hour, running worlds 81 to 96. If you're looking for things to buy from the Shattered Worlds Reward Shop, I highly suggest getting the Soul the Wound ability, and if you use melee, the Bladed Dive ability. The other abilities are very niche and situational, but the Slayer's Insight ability is a nice thing to have if you're going for 120 or 200 mil Slayer. If you are going for 120 Slayer, having the Mask of the Abyss to force Abyssal Creature tasks is also quite useful. Now there's something else I need to tell you, and that is if you're looking to level Noxious weapons to get Noxious components for your biting perks, well you can also do that using the method in this video. As an example, let's say you're trying to level up a Noxious Longbow to disassemble at level 9. If you're using Chinchompas and the UF Darkbow, you can spam your special and then quickly swap to your Noxious Longbow with Keybinds to gain experience on your Noxious Longbow. It's a little bit of a tricky method, dare I say even a tedious method, but this will allow you to level up 200 items, and let's be honest, you're not really going to be doing this all too often. You're not going to need a Biting 4 perk for a million armor sets. Only a few, perhaps even just one for now. With that being said, we've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.